Hello everyone, Fishing Surfing here with the new um, lure review that I found recently actually. So a lot of people, if you're a bass fisherman and are into swim baits, have heard of the Spro. Spro makes some really good fishing lures. I've caught a number of bass on the two and a half inch Spro. My biggest being like three and a half pounds, so it's a pretty good fish for just um, the two and a half inch Spro. So this one here I'm showing you is the six inch Trout Spro. It's got, it's, if you're wondering why the paint's chip is because I found this, it's probably worth like $26, $30. I found it hanging off of a tree at Diamond Valley Lake. So that's a really good find because this lure is probably worth 30 bucks. And I just found it hanging on a tree, perfectly, not perfectly good condition, but it's still able to swim. It still looks like a trout and it's even actually better that the, the paint's chip because it looks like the scales are missing and it looks like the trout's wounded. So this is the Spro BBZ1 Junior Slow Sink. You can see a Spro symbol right there. It says on the belly what kind of mo make model it is. So Spro 6 inch trout color. This weekend I'm going to Lake Paris. I'm going to definitely throw this because the big bass, probably like 6 to 10 pounds, all love to eat this. Even some 4, four or 5 pounders can eat this. Because this, this is a very versatile bait. You could fish it off the top, make it like a wake bait. Or you can fish it, let it sink for a little bit and it could fish it mid-surface. A lot of bass will feeding on trout now. Now that winter's coming in, start will actually reach around like, just to start fall, mid-fall, like the bluegill bites on right now. Over the winter, all these lakes near here, the big lakes, Diamond Valley Lake, Lake Paris, they're all all those big bass are gonna be eating this fish, this six inch trout. That's all they eat. The Department of Fish and Game stocks trout wheatly, stocks trout weekly. And that's all those bass eat, trout. So this is a very good bait for throwing in the winter. The Spro BBZ1 Junior Slow Sink. Alright, so there's my trout. Oh yeah, and I added these. Pretty sure, I'm not, I forgot what kind of hooks they are, but there's regular brown hooks, trout hooks. I got them off of a spook. Oh, sorry about that noise. But I got this off of the spook. This is our spook. Those should be some good hooks. Now I'm going to show you my next swim bait I have. This one is a cheap swim bait, but it's still the trout colored. It's got red eye, trout colored side. This one is probably like 8 inches for some big bass. It's got a big tail, swims like crazy. And we made some little slits behind the gills to make it look like it's an actual gill. Right there, you hook on the hook. And then we only have one hook on this. There really should be a hook coming out up here, which you can attach one if you want to, but... We didn't have one up there yet because we've we've thrown this like very few times because it's not winter yet and all those bass are feeding on the trout. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video and just a tip is throw swim baits. Swim baits, in my opinion, is the best lure to throw over the winter because that's all the bass are feeding on is fish, trout. That's all they like to eat. So make sure go out and buy some swim baits. This lure I got at a little ta local tackle shop for like five bucks. It's a really good price. And hopefully I'll catch some big bass on this one. And this is a very prized find that I found. Very good. Worth like 30 bucks. Found it on a tree at Diamond Valley Lake. So that was a good find. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. Make sure to subscribe. And going out fishing this weekend at Lake Paris with this with this lure, the six inch spro, and hopefully I catch some. So thanks for watching. Make sure to subscribe to see some upcoming fishing videos.